وَإِنْ أَحَدُ مِنَ الْمُشْرِقِينَ اسْتَجَارَكَ فَاجِرْهُ حَتَّى يَسْمَعَ كَلَامَ اللَّهِ And if some of these mushrikeen, these unbelievers, these associators, they want your protection, you give them the protection until they come to you and listen to the ayat of Allah. حَتَّى يَسْمَعَ كَلَامَ اللَّهِ Now one is an ultimatum was given to the whole the tribes of the Arabian Peninsula. It was a very big event. Maybe some of the tribes had not up till that time even considered what is this da'wah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what is calling. But now there was an ultimatum. So naturally there could be a possibility. They wanted to know what is your deen. So if they want to come to you, you grant them protection. وَإِنْ أَحَدُوا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ اسْتَجَارَكَ فَاجِرْهُ حَتَّى يَسْمَعَ كَلَامَ اللَّهِ سُمَّ أَبْلِغْهُ مَا مَنَا And then you transport him to his place of peace. Not now decide whether you accept or not here and now. Accept here or you will be just finished here. No. They had come to know, to listen to the words of Allah, to the revelations. Now when you have done that job, duty, let them go and transport them to their places of peace. And then you, when the ultimatum time is finished, then you can do whatever you like. So these are the six most profound ayat of the Quran. And because you know the harshness in them, because of that, Ayat of Bismillah is neither read nor written in the beginning of this surah. Because Bismillah contains two names of Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. And this surah, according to the words of Hazrat Ali, it came down with a sword in its hand. That's why it has another name also, Al-Fazi'ah, Al-Mufzi'ah. The humiliator, this ultimatum, what big ultimatum, there is no concession for you. But what happened actually, not a single person was murdered on this account. All accepted. Or some of them left the Arabian Peninsula. Abu Jahl was also one of them, he was also going, making hijrah in the way of his own deen. Not Abu Jahl. Son of Abu Jahl, Ikramah. But you know later on, it, was a, it is a long incident, he came back. And there is a community, let me mention here, in Afghanistan. They claim to be descendants of those people who ran away from the Arabian Peninsula after this ultimatum. They are living in Nuristan. This community is divided into two parts. One part is in Pakistan and they are still Kafirs and the, that region is called Kafiristan. And it's being preserved as such. The other people, they had migrated to Afghanistan and there you know Amir Dost Muhammad, he gave them an ultimatum, either you accept Islam or you'll be killed. So they accepted Islam. So the same community divided into two parts. In, Afghan in Pakistan, they are Kafiristan, near Chitral. And in Afghanistan, the adjoining area, now they have an Islamic state, small, tiny Islamic state. A few hundred thousand people, not more. But they claim we are Karshi. We are the progeny of those who fled. And just as you know, the flood the flood of the victories of Islamic armies were proceeding. We were also, you know, going farther and farther away till we reached here, our, our fa fathers, you know, and we settled here in the mountains. So that was a safe place for us. This is what they say. I, I can't say whether the claim is correct or not. Now this from Ayah 7 to Ayah 24. And most of the modern Mufassirin have committed blunders regarding these ayat, couldn't understand. And this is because they couldn't know that these ayat were revealed more than a year before these ayat. 
آیات نمبر ون ٹو سکس اینڈ دین ٹوینٹی فائیو ٹو تھرٹی سیون دے ور ریویل ون ٹو سکس اینڈ اینڈ ٹوینٹی فائیو ٹو تھرٹی سیون ریویل ان دا زی قادہ آف نائنتھ ایئر آف ہجری کیلنڈر بٹ دیز آیات وچ وی ول بی ریڈنگ ناؤ دے ور ریویل این ایئر اینڈ اے کوارٹر بفور بفور دی وکٹری آف مکہ اینڈ وٹ واز دی بیک گراؤنڈ When the Prophet ﷺ was planning the final assault on Makkah, there was a difference of opinion among Muslims. There were Munafiqeen also. It was a disease with them. And now you know you are going to fight Quraysh. What has happened to you? You have gone crazy. Varraha awlai deenuhum. Read that ayah last night. Their deen has made them crazy. Number two, some of the sincere Muslims also, they had some considerations. After all, they are custodians of Bakka. They are custodians of Kaaba. They serve the pilgrims. They arrange water for them. They are managing the house of Allah. So, We shouldn't go and, you know, attack them. And second consideration, families of some of the Muslims are still there. What will happen to them? When you are fighting, you know, maybe it goes up to a street, street fighting, house to house fighting, what will happen? So there was a strong opinion that we shouldn't do it. Just as you know, some people didn't want to go to Badr. They wanted to go to the caravan, not to confront the army. In the same way, there were people who thought it's no good. Why not go on preaching and preaching and preaching and everything will be okay? Why to take this harsh step? And especially against the custodians of Kaaba. So this is the background in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is criticizing them. What has happened to you? What are these thoughts? كَيْفَ يَكُونَ لِلْمُشْرِكِينَ أَحْدٌ إِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَعِنْدَ رَسُولِهِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ أَحْدٌ إِنْدَ الْمَسْجِدِ الْحَرَامِ How can there be a treaty with Allah and His Messenger for the mushrikeen? There cannot be a, a permanent treaty. The truth and the falsehood cannot coexist. This coexistence is nonsense. Batil doi pasand hai haq la shariq hai. Shirkat mein aana hai haqo batil na kar kubool. There cannot be any permanent covenant between mushrikeen and muwahideen. Illa nazina ahad tum indal masjid al haram. Except those who, with whom you made and concluded a treaty near the sacred mosque. That is the treaty of Hudaybiyah. Actually, you made a treaty. So long as they stand true to you, you also stand true to them. But if they break the treaty, the blame is on them, not on you. They have broken the treaty. The treaty of Hudaybiyah was broken from this, their side, not from Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. How? Just imagine what you are thinking, O Muslims. And if they prevail upon you, la yarqubu fikum illam wala zimmah, they will not respect or regard about you, neither of any relationship, nor of any treaty. Yurdu lakum bi afwahim, they want to please you only through their mouths, through their words. وَتَابَا قُلُوبُهُمْ Their hearts refuse. وَأَكْسَرُهُمْ فَاسِقُونَ And most of them were transgressors. اشتراو بِعَيَاتِ اللَّهِ سَمَنًا خَلِيلًا They purchased or accepted, bartered the ayat of Allah, the revelations of Allah for a very small price. Quran was revealed two-third of it in Bakka. These are the people who didn't accept it. 
دے سول دی آیا تو فلا فار سم ویری ٹریویل گیمس یور پوزیشن یور پولیٹیکل اسینڈنسی دیٹس آل وٹ ایور فار سب دو آنسر بھی لے سو دے ہیلڈ بیک فرام دی پارٹ آف اللہ اینڈ دے اسٹاپ ادرس آلسو فرام دی پارٹ آف اللہ آئی ٹول یو سدا یا سدو ہیز بوتھ دی میننگس ٹو یور سیلف ہولڈ بیک اور ٹو اسٹاپ اینڈ بار ادرس ان نہ سا ما کان یا ملون ویری لی وٹ ایور دے آر ڈوئنگ اٹس ویری ایول سو ڈونٹ ہیسیٹیٹ گو ایڈ لا یار قبول افی مومن علم ولا ذمہ و لا کہم المعتدون اگین ریپیٹ ریپیٹیشن دے نیور ریسپیکٹ نیور ریگارڈ کنسرننگ اینی مومن نائدر دی بانڈ آف ریلیشن شپ نور دی بانڈ آف اینی ٹریٹ یور کوویننٹ دے آر دی ٹرانسگریسرز فائن تابو اگین دی سیم آیا فائن تابو اقام الصلاۃ و اتم الزکاۃ فائف بالکم فی الدین بٹ اف دے ریپینٹ اف دے ٹرن ٹوورڈز اللہ اف دے مینڈ देयर ویز اینڈ دے اسٹیبلش صلاۃ پے زکاۃ دن دے ار یور بردرز ان دین ایون ناؤ دی گیٹ از اوپن فار دیم اٹ ہیز ناٹ بین کلوزڈ It will be closed an year later. The ayat which we have already read, the door will be closed. But even then they could do, they could accept Islam. فَإِن تَعَبُوا وَقَامُوا صَلَاةَ وَعَتَمُوا الزَّكَاةَ فَإِخْوَانُكُمْ فِي الدِّينِ وَنُفَصِّلُوا الْآيَاتِ لِقَوْمِ يَعْلَمُونَ And we explain our revelations for those who have the knowledge. 